Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Cupcakes and Coupons. I am making granola today. Um, it's almond crunch granola and it's really simple. This is actually my first time making it, but it only has six simple ingredients. It has toasted almonds, oatmeal, honey, coconut, vegetable or almond oil, and ground cinnamon. The first thing I did was toast my almond and use almond slivers, but I only had old almonds, so I just roughly chopped them up and I toasted them for, you toast them between um, 9 and 11 minutes. I believe I toasted them for about 11 minutes. So the first thing we do is take a cup of almonds, put them in a bowl. We're going to take a cup of oatmeal, two, two and a quarter cups of oatmeal. actually two and a half cups of oatmeal. We're going to take a cup of coconut. I'm kind of lightly packing in my coconut. See? Just kind of lightly. going to add that to the mixture. And then I'm going to take my cinnamon I'm going to add um, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Did I say a quarter? I'm sorry. Three-fourths of a teaspoon. And for that we will use a half a teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon. And again, this is one of those recipes that you can kind of make it to your taste. So we have our cup of almonds, two and a half cups of oatmeal, a cup of lightly packed coconut, and three quarters of a cup teaspoon, three quarters of a teaspoon, which again is a half a teaspoon and a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So now I am combining a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil with a half a cup of honey. And so I've already put the vegetable oil and adding honey to it. And I'm actually going to let this sit so all of the honey, try to get all of the honey in there. And my seventh ingredient that I'm adding just because, since I said use um, either almond oil or vegetable oil. I thought why not try a little bit of almond extract. So <laughs> yeah we'll see how it turns out. I'm actually going to add let's see just a fourth of a teaspoon because I believe almond extract is really strong so I'm adding this and who knows how it's going to turn out, but we will shall see. So yeah, as you can see, I put gloves on. And the reason being is so I can get in here and mix everything up nice and good. So yeah, I want to get in here and get this all mixed together. And guys, 
again this recipe you really don't have to use exact measurements because um, this is one of those things that you can kind of make to your liking um, if you don't have almonds you can use pecans or pecans and almonds whatever you want if you like raisins ill <laughs> you can have raisins I do not like raisins but I'm sure yeah other members of my family would be happy to have it with raisins I think this looks so pretty you have that all mixed together and now I'm going to take my quarter of a cup of vegetable oil and my half a cup of honey and my quarter of a teaspoon of almond extract and I am going to add this to the mixture and I'm actually going to take my finger and try to get all of that yummy goodness out. Here's my dilemma. I'm not sure if I should add, um, like spray my pan before I do this because I'm, I'm just wondering how it's, if it's going to stick or anything, but I guess we shall find out. So I'm just mixing this real good to try to get um, it coated with the oil, oil and the um, honey. Really well. I found this recipe and I've never been a granola fan. It's not that I don't like it, but it's not something that I'm, I've just been like, ooh, I have to have granola. But I saw this recipe and I said I have to try it. The funny thing is I didn't have really any of these ingredients at home. Um, I had the honey and I had the cinnamon. I think that's yeah I think that's about it I got the almonds from my mom I got the oatmeal from my mom I also got the coconut <laughs> and the oil wow I really didn't have anything guys for this but I um I was gonna wait until Sunday because I know oatmeal is going to be on sale buy one get one free at Walgreens but I was at my mom's yesterday and I asked her and I'd already gotten half of the ingredients from her, but um, I just went ahead and got the other half. Um, did I say I have this? Yeah, this wasn't even called in the recipe, but I did have that at home. So yeah, I think I have this all mixed. So since the recipe didn't say to spray my dish, and oh, this is I'm using a sheet pan. And this is just, yeah, it's like a half sheet pan. Um, I hope this works because I'm not spraying the pan. I don't want to spray it because um, the recipe didn't say spray it. And none of the reviews um, mentioned that they sprayed the pan. So I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope that this works. So I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees I'm just going to take this out spread it on my sheet tray put it in the oven the recipe says for 30 minutes but a lot of the reviews um, only left it in for about 20-25 minutes but um, after you have it in the oven, you take it out and you stir it like every few minutes. I would say every five to seven minutes, just give it a stir. And 
Um, we will see how it turns out. So far, I think it's looking nice. So I'm going to put this in the oven and I will be back. Okay guys, it's been five minutes. So I'm going to stir this around a little bit. Not much change after five minutes, so I don't know. I think the next time I'm going to look, I'm going to go for 10 minutes. Oh my goodness, this is looking so good. And guys, it's, oh my gosh, it smells so, so good. Just gonna stir it a little bit more. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay. So, so far um, it has baked for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna keep my timer at the 10 minute mark so that will be 15 20 25 minutes so we'll see I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in okay it looks like it's ready okay guys so I've let this um, cool for about 20 minutes and now you just kind of take it and break it apart a little bit. Too cute. How about we give it a try? See that little cluster? Wow, guys, this is really, really good. The smell alone will get you. It smells uh, amazing. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think about it. I think it turned out great.